So I want to show you what it looks like doing the straight line depreciation. So let's just assume that we purchase a van on January 1st of 2016 for $41,000. And our year end is December 31st. So I'll just say our year end is December 31st. And so let's just pretend we're in 2016 right now. And the company believes that the value at the end of their use will be $1,000. So we could probably sell it for $1,000. And then they believe, so the management believes that they can actually use this van for five years. So then if I use that formula cost minus residual value divide that by useful life in years that will give me so let's say 41,000 minus a thousand over five so 41,000 minus 1,000 is 40,000 divided by five, that gives me 8,000 of depreciation per year. So if we're recording depreciation on a yearly basis, so remember, we can also record it on a monthly basis. Uh, let's actually just do the, the two journal entries. Let's do the journal entry for when we purchase the van. So I'm going to debit van and credit, let's assume we had this money in the bank, so I'll credit cash, and that's for the 41,000. So now this just sits on my balance sheet as an asset for $41,000. And that's to record, purchase a van. Now at the end of the year, so at the end of the fiscal year, December 31st, so that's a full 12 months, we're going to record depreciation expense, which is $8,000. And then we're going to credit this account called accumulated depreciation. of $8,000. So now what happens is when I put my balance sheet together, I'll take the van of 41,000 and then I put this account together with it, the accumulated depreciation of 8,000. So then on my balance sheet, it will say my van is $33,000. And then every year we do that. And then when we get into year five on your balance sheet, it will say your van is worth $1,000. And that's how we depreciate over five years.